good afternoon today we are going to discuss your responsibilities of the business in this particular module we are going to discuss what is the social audit social audit and their business ethics and corporate governance we have heard about our personal ethics business uh, professional ethics the people who are working in the uh, company and organizations they should use their professional ethics employees they should have professional ethics but the person who is a owner or entrepreneur or business people or new startup ceo etc who is running okay the company they should maintain some of business ethics and corporate governance for that we are going to discuss this particular video today social responsibilities already we i have told but once again we have to tell you before going social audit this is a noble idea okay we have to we have some respons responsibility towards our society economics custom religion traditions level of industrialization and social human like values such as moral cooperation motivation self realization so these are the things we have to maintain in our business every business having a total economic and political system it is a center of network of relationship to person ground and things so the entrepreneur or businessman therefore should consider the impact of his actions all over which he is related he has to he is a, he is a center person if the any one company develop civilize the entire area one company okay they spoil the entire area so we have to be a noble okay center of place center of the society so that it should help our to the society and should develop such a good relationship with the society also uh audit must be knowing what we are doing whether we have achieved as per the pre plan pre plan pre uh, define uh, our plans strategies our goal our objective whatever we have decided by the top management and by the employees etc that to be audited audited whether they are doing or not they are performing well or not the social audit is a systematic study an evaluation of the organizations of social performance as distinguished from its performance correct the term social performance refers to any organization activities even they are doing the job performing the job that affect well that affect to welfare of the society whatever they are doing how what level it is affecting in good sense noble way or not that me measuring this particular things that is is known as social performance benefits it supplies data for the comparison with the organization social policies and standards the management can determine how well it is living up its social objective it develop a sense of social awareness among all employees and workers labor in the process of preparing reports and responding to evaluations employees become more aware of social implications of their actions uh, it also benefits to comparing the effectiveness of the different types of program and provide data about the cost of social program so that management can relate the data to budget available resources company objective it provides information for effective response to external group which make demand on the organization so social audit it is uh, okay it will it will be a data analysis of the our social performance of an organizations how they are affecting how it is 
doing welfare for the society, that particular rating, that is oddity. And that it is related to society, people and humankind, other things, surrounding, environment, etc. Altogether, that is we are, so that we are calling it social audit. Social audit continuations. See, social audit limitations. Social audit is a process audit rather than the audit of result. Okay. It is a process. It is not based on outcome. Okay. It is a continuous process of improving the areas, improving the society, people, living it's of the women, village, labors, etc. Environment also. It means social audit determines only what a program is doing in social area and not in the amount of social good and result from the activity. What a program we are doing in social area, we are not counting as a result, okay? The program which is helping to the society and how exactly affecting of their livinghood, that is known as, okay, social audit. That is a, actually every, every business is having limitations in terms of social audit. The audit of social result is not made because these are difficult to measure. It is not a quantifiable, quantifiable, quanti quantifiable okay, things which can be measured. It is something like non-quantifiable things. Okay, it is very difficult to measure how much society it got to help the things. But you know, as the people knows of the area, development knows how exactly the society is improved. It cannot be classified under good or bad. You know. I told you it is not measurable, so we cannot count it good and bad. Most of the them occurs outside the organization, making it difficult for the organization to secure data from outside source. Even though the social result cannot be proved, an audit of what is being done shows the amount of effort that a businessman is making the area beneficial to the society. Society should be benefit from you are running the company, I remember one person, I have all, all this is, I asked one of, of my friend, one of my businessmen, he is a very good businessman, I asked how you are doing, how many employees you are having and what do you feel about your business? What he told, I am not doing business for me to make the money, I am not doing business to multiple of my revenues. I am making, I am helping, I am going more employee, I am giving them happiness, they should be happy, whomever it is there, their family, all together, they should be happy, so that I hardly remove the people. If they are not satisfied, I just want to know what is the reason they are not satisfied. We promote them, we hike them, we are giving good salary, and they are all are happy. Anybody comes to our company, they never leave. Uh, they become loyal to the company and that it is required, that should be there in the company. Okay, the, who is the CEO, is the founder of that company, that these are the words of him. So, social audit can be made either by external expert <coughs> or outside consultant or a combination of two, anybody. If we need sometimes expert, internal expert, outside consultant, to think about how exactly whether we are doing something or not, what is society, or for sake we are doing or we are doing on papers, documents only, uh, whether it is really working out or we are doing it or not, that can be done by the expert people or consultant. The internal audit has the advantage of familiarity with the business, but its judgment may be influenced by the company loyalty. The outside consultant for auditing has the advantage of an outsider view but lacks in familiarity. Outsider always you see, I see, I tell you in which house we are having, which room we are using daily, which office, areas, roads we are doing daily, when our 
observation and monitoring level of the monitoring observation goes down so outside people immediately come to know what is the weakness what is the drawback of our business and our operation <clears throat> the internal audit has the advantage always but sometimes external auditing always better because that cannot be influenced by company loyalty the outside consultant of the auditing has the advantage of outside the view but lack its familiarity they are not familiar with the things of the system with the organization activity so he may outlook significant data but has more credibility outside auditing always is supposed to be major and that is that should be uh, what we do in this particular it is not there in your subject why not we do internal audit as well as where the senior people and the top people who are having the auditing uh, experience or experience in uh, many areas we can make them internal audit person and same time we should make some outside auditing company people should come consultant and they should do it both we do it that should not be a matter both the things will help the people of social audit of the company of the institution or any factory or any organization <coughs> social audit if we talk about audit it based on ethics people ethics is the word that develop from our childhood that develop from our nature that develop from our how exactly first 10 years 10 years parents they have given us that become nature and nature has some values and those values may be our develop as a personal ethics and these personal ethics convert into characteristics and these characteristics it help us in achieving many things and nature also and these all together when we go to the company we are doing we are using our professional ethics so people always say don't do it should not be very personal don't take it personal we are working for the profession we are working for the organization so should not take personal it should not be very sensitive or uh, personal sensitive we should work for the office that is professional audit but other than these two who has personal ethics who has professional ethics he become as employee to entrepreneur and then he towards moving to become entrepreneur so he is running towards becoming and starting his own company or a new person he directly starting a company enterprising those people should should have business ethics however sometimes manager action legally right but ethically wrong it happen many times people we are interviewing the four people and two people are good one person is really good but meanwhile it is been happen that somebody has called top management board of directors that he prefer to appoint another person so that is that becomes legally right okay that you have to appoint the very experienced and very qualified person but we are going ethically wrong and appointing somebody else another another example in the area your area there is a, so many small villages and those villages having only one single grocery shop 20 km away from the urban shopping area city the owner of the shop can charge any price for any his product the legally right but not ethically these are four important factor which affect his decision okay uh, one is government legislation business code pressure code and personal value of manager himself so what what exactly the person who is a shop owner he is bringing roads are not good spending time closing is your day time full time shop and going to city bringing the material and 
uh, charging 10 times of the commodity price may be legally right, but ethically is not. So in this, we have to think about government legislation, business code, pressure code, and personal value. So if we come business code, okay, everybody has to have the business, we have to maintain some of standard values and other things, but one is very important pressure code. You must be knowing that recent industry, carpet industry is facing consumer boycott from the West, from the uh, European countries. For, for Indians, um, companies, they are employing child labor. So that is known as pressure code. Pressure code things should not be there in the things, okay? So, personal values of the manager himself. A manager with strong personal values mostly finds himself in a dilemma when an unethical course of action becomes only his choice to achieve the company goal. Right. It happens sometimes. We boycott our feelings. We boycott our, okay, the qualities and personal values, values, ethics values, other things, and we go for to something else which he do not supposed to do, but to achieve the goal, we have to do. It happened. That is a part of business. But we should try to maximize that we should use our editing. We should pressure code and business code should not be compromised. Okay. They have pleaded guilty of participating in a series of fraudulent transactions, falsifying business record, making false disclosure and violating business laws. You must be knowing the making false disclosure. I think LV has a Satyam computer. He has used the same false disclosure of the uh, opening stock of the employee. He has shown what the actual it was. Just to complete that time, there are two other companies, Infosys and Wipro. And Satyam computer founder, Mr. Raju, he has manipulated the employees, number of employees. That was the things it is audited and finally he got captured and finally he went to the jail. So we should not, we have to give the correct, uh, clear picture of the things we should use very, uh, okay, honestly our record and etc. should be presented. According to a new report of corruption by Price, Waterhouse Cooper executives are most vulnerable business in emerging market as Brazil, Russia, India, and China. Other side, the motto of emphasis, what it is very, people say, under promise, over deliver. I really happy if they promise and they deliver more. If they, they say that your software will be delivered to this customer, that they will deliver within a six months, but they will deliver within five months. If the things, the price of the things, if they are getting, if it is delayed, even one day delayed, they will give penalty themselves. These are the ethics they are maintaining. And we should use it. People are not leaving the company there because employees are satisfied. Okay? They become almost, they are getting the shares. They become some some part of the business, some part of the company. So that confidence comes in the company, employees, a sector. So we have to have some ethics. This is business ethics we have to maintain. Apart from business ethics, we have to corporate governance. The term corporate governance is used to denote the extent to which companies run in an open and honest manner in the best interest of all stakeholders. Whatever we are doing, this should be Black and white, very transparency should be there. The stakeholders, those investors, those are investing money, all together we should return their end of the year, okay, and the, our balance sheet, whatever profit we are showing, based on that actuals we should return to the uh, investor or whatever who is giving money to you, that they should be benefited out. The key element of the corporate governance are below. One is transparency and accountability. All the key players of the company, board of directors, auditors and stakeholders should keep our element 
in project through a code which incorporate a system of checks and balances. Right. Sir Edwin Cadbury, chairman of the committee in early 1090, has prepared a recommended code for the best corporate governance. Non-executive directors whose most important role is to bring the independent judgment to bear of issues of strategies, performance, resources should be picked, picked up through a formal selection process on merit. Companies should have recom uh, remunerations committee consisting wholly and mainly non-executive directors, non-executive directors, which should recommend to the board executive directors amendment and payment. Okay. The company should have audit company committee consisting three non-executive directors to report the relating the financial management. Audit partners should be rotated. It should not be like the same people will be okay auditing person, internal auditing person. Even external auditors should be different people every year. They should be Fuller disclosure to non-audit work. Corporate governance benefit for benefits of the corporate governance. It creates overall market confidence and long-term trust in the company. It leads to an increase in company share prices. It ensures the integrity of company financial reports. It maximizes corporate security by acting in a visual blower. It limits the liability of top management by carefully articulating the decision making process. At last, it improves the strategic thinking at the top by including the independent directors who bring the wealth of experience and a host of new ideas, new ideas and ideas make always innovations with innovation that make the success in the path of the running company. And that is end of my today topic. Thank you. Thank you very much.